Hi there. I'm testing my uh, target light heliostat outside. I put a little uh, solar glass for the lens so it's not that bright. You can see it outside if the mirror is there. It's turning. It doesn't stay, uh, let's say, upright uh, in terms of the uh, square. It simply turns around the axle and then uh, tracks the sun. In this case, it was uh, uh, reflecting sunlight uh, into my uh, door. I found it kind of going back to the sun. But I need some more experimentation to uh, to see how you really have to align it. If you uh, if it's if it's doable to to reflect sunlight into any direction. Which I don't think it is. I think you have to put this on the large side of your house and then uh, have the motor uh, uh, basically track the sun as it describes a circle through the sky. But if it's doable, then uh, now it kind of reaches the brightness of the sun, then, uh, then it's a very cheap uh, heliostat, uh, actually. Now it was moving. Um, because the materials are cheap. There's a motor, there's a mirror that's about 20 euros, there's a motor that's about 20 euros, there's some wood and a wire and a weight. And then of course there has to be controls and uh, etc. But I think that you'll be ready for about 60, 70 euros. You can build a rig like this. If you have a couple of them and you have good position sensors, which I'm working on, which are the rotary and codec uh, magnetic uh, uh, sensors, then uh, which, which measure the exact angle of the mirror, then with some calculation you can have a very neat heliostat. Which means that if you have a couple of these, uh, and this one now produces 200 watts and shines it directly into my home, um, then uh, that's, I don't know, I guess that would be uh, a half a dollar per watt, effectively. Uh, the way you would use these is, of course, to have a couple of them and, and have them well, uh, uh, basically well controlled, which is easy if you use these uh, microcontrollers, and, uh, and have them. Uh, basically projecting warmth into your home, heat, solar heat into your home because it's a, it's a metal mirror, reflects all the infrared radiation, much more efficient uh, basically uh, in terms of cost than, uh, than solar panels because they only absorb 15%, this reflects 95 or 98% of the sunlight into your home and uh, means you have an extra window. Uh, I'm going to make some more pictures of this if I have time, I have to work on some other stuff first. I'm trying to uh, to uh, to get uh, basically people to subscribe to my uh, Green Check uh, website, which is connected to uh, Green Check reports and all the solar heliostat stuff, uh, in order to be able to do my thing. I only need about 3,000 subscribers for one euro per month, which is of course a small amount, and then uh, I'm able to do uh, my stuff and work on this and uh, work on uh, promoting it. If you think that's a good cause, then of course you're free to, uh, to become a subscriber. Uh, and you, uh, I'll, I'll post a link below this video uh, so you can do that. It's only one euro and uh, you can see that within a, a month or so I'll have a number of products uh, ready that uh, can be very useful for people to do uh, DIY, do it yourself, uh, solar thermal power. And of course save a lot of energy uh, and drive uh, hopefully a cottage industry small and local industry of people that do these things. There's some other technologies which I want to demonstrate as well, of course, uh, which is uh, uh, solar air heater, heating and, 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 and well, the other stuff that I'm working on, but it's quite a lot. Uh, I'm trying to do it all at the same time. Uh, but uh, thanks for listening and I hope you enjoy.